Howdy folks and welcome to Coffee and Tools and this week I've got something if you're into farming or agriculture or you handle liquids or paints or, or junk anything you do with a Lowe's or Home Depot bucket you might want to really you know pull up a chair and take a good look at this this is an interesting product that I'm going to do today and Mondays I like to do hacks or something along that line this is this is really sort of a hack job but it was like it, it at the same time it's a nice product so I gotta give an award out. This is my Georgia Bulldog cap today. Uh, this place sent me some product out of Alpharetta, Georgia, and they sent me some cool stuff. And they did something that was so smart, I can't believe none of the other companies' of products, and we've dealt with what, I don't know, 50, 100 products around the last couple of years here. And this company sent me, are you ready for this? Cheers. Yeah, a t-shirt. Now that, that my friends, is smart because that t-shirt, I'll wear that with the bucket grips, you know. I'll be wearing that t-shirt maybe every couple of weeks on the show for free. Nobody's getting paid for it or sponsorship or anything, but you'll see the t-shirt bucket grips running around or running around town you know, in Texas. So, yeah, that is very intelligent that they did that. And uh, the other thing they sent me, which was really cool, I gotta show you guys this thing. This thing is so cool. Uh, it's a piece of uh, pine tree by the looks of it. In fact, the tree was about 20 years old when it was cut. Is that cool or what? Look at that. And it's on both sides and it has the information of the company and contact information, that kind of thing. But that's not all. They also sent me this really cool little postcard that has a picture of their product in there on it. And I'm gonna take a good long close up there, see if we can get a nice, yeah, get that in focus really good. Bucket grips. Cool, huh? We have a bunch of them in from bucket grips. Um, this is the, the first set of a, of a few that we have here that they sent us, you know, sent over to the show here. What an interesting product. And it really does sort of take a, an answer to some problems that I, you and I have had. You know, we've had this problem forever. And this, this, is the way to get rid of the problem, or at least this is a solution, you know, <laughs> and I like it. And it's simple enough that it's almost a hack, but it's actually a product, something, you know, you, me, we can buy these things and use them. And I just recently was talking to someone and uh, they were doing a, running a, farm, a small farm and they were having trouble with the handles on the buckets. And I thought, when I saw this, I said, this is the guy's answer right here. This would take care of the problem that he's been having. Thanks guys over there now for it. Wow, I still, I'm still amazed. So that I've, I've had machines that are 600 and a thousand dollar machines come in here. I brought those glasses by mistake, oops. So I wanna thank the guys over at Alpharetta Georgia to send that stuff in because, you know, I have asked uh, multi-million dollar companies to, can you send a t-shirt or a baseball cap or something if you wanna be on the show. Like, wow, well, we don't get that, you know. All right. America. So, how do these work? Well, there's two in a pack, and here's the package. Now, I hate to even tear the package open because I think this is just such a simple, awesome trick. But we also need we need a bucket. I was going to use a home control bucket, but it seems to me that this thing here is laying around all the time. So I guess we'll go ahead and we'll see if it'll fit a Lowe's bucket, which it will. Any of the buckets, in fact, Ace Hardware, uh, Tractor Supply, any of them, you're going to notice this sort of reinforced honeycomb ridge around here. And that's where the handles are going to lock into to allow you to carry the bucket this way. Also, if you have two people and you're carrying something really heavy and you wanna you know, separate between the two of you and carry the bucket, a lot of times people would get their hands on them this way and try to carry them. And it was kind of nasty. It, the, the wire's hard on the hands, of course, and so the heavy load that's in the bucket, because you know yourself, uh, you can get about 40, 40 plus pounds if you're into liquids or chemicals or anything like that. And that bucket gets heavy. And two people could carry it this way, but like I say, it was, it was very awkward and ended up sloshing around making a mess. So this kind of, this sort of thing is exactly what you need. You know, and if you have, like I say, a small farm, you're into agriculture or anything like that, this is probably just the exact product you need. So let's get these out and I'll show you. Now, they come like this, but they even come with instructions on how to install them. So <laughs> good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to go, I'm going to go, 
I think we'll go away from the handle, even though that's, that's the whole point of the deal here, is to get away from that handle. Now, they have a slide in, yeah. oh, it's patent pending, or patented, so yeah, don't screw with the patent on this thing, okay? I don't want you making 3D prints of this stuff, but. So, we'll find a spot, and there's the other one there. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> oh yeah, and there we go. Okay, so so there's our handles, and you can see. Look at that. And it's actually the handle's kind of like it's locked up. It's not gonna it's not gonna easily fall off of it. But the thing is, is now say you had two people and you both want to carry the bucket, you can now carry it this way. A lot more stable, a lot easier for both of you to say carry a bucket. Or if you have a lot of stuff and it's high, and this this handle thing here always gets in the way of anything that's above the bucket. I've noticed I've, for years I've had that problem. This way now you can stack the stuff up this high in the bucket, grab it with both hands, you know, and you can haul it. It's a lot easier, a lot safer, and it's just it's just just makes life a whole lot easier, especially around the uh, bucket situation here. But look at those handles, isn't that cool? And it'll hook up to, like say, oh, anybody's bucket. It's, it's really a, a nice design because it'll snap onto the Home Depot, the Ace Hardware, the uh, Tractor Supply, uh, Menards, I'm sure they have a bucket. I haven't seen the Menard bucket, but I, let's all face it, we know they have one, sure. Pfft. There's a lot of them companies out there. Say if you want to get these off, if you bang them down a little bit, let's see. There, and pop them off. So you don't have to have, you know, you don't have to keep them on there or something like that. But what a terrific uh, item. And it's patented, so uh, yeah, here, don't make these on 3D printers. Mm -mm, no, <laughs> they won't work. But this thing has always been kind of a aggravation point. And also, look at the handle, how comfortable that is, you know, to grip compared to, of course, that. That's a no-brainer, but these things always dig into my hand anyways. I've never, you know, it's never been a comfortable thing. It's funny because old dairy pails years ago were made with great big wooden handles on them, so they were easy to grip and carry. So somehow we've uh, gone to plastic and wire and lost the technology to make a good handle for a bucket, you know. Yeah, that's what it is. So again, take your bucket and you're gonna come up the bottom of this ridge this is the bottom here where you can see these two pieces here but there's your teeth that are going to go up into the bucket and you're just going to go up like that and just snap it on kind of thing. So that just just to show you how that you could even do it one handed I guess one handle on a bucket or something if you want to carry it uh, like that I don't know just maybe. Uh, so you pop these on and let's put the other side on same thing and again we'll just line them up and then that yeah and we've got a pair of handles now for a bucket and that that just makes life wholesome huh. what a terrific product and it's from bucket grips you know that in itself tells you pretty much what they want and you can find the bucketgrips.com I'm gonna put links in the description below where you can find this product and they've only been established since 2016 so these are a young bunch of guys they haven't been around too long but what a great product and I think uh, anybody that has one of these buckets we all need them we need at least a pair of these grips so coming up next week guess what let's, let's do this yeah coming up next week we'll have a draw yeah and we'll get into these next week but I have some I have some sharesies, yeah, we'll share these and we'll get these out to some buff buddy. But this this Monday, that's our that's our star product uh, for Monday is the bucket grips, you know. What a and what an awesome item, you know. Let's see if I can get these off again. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> also, if you're fighting somebody, you could uh, you know Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> You know, and if your wife's mad at you and she gets a hold of one of the, oh yeah, messy, very messy. Okay. Hey, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe. That's Monday's hack. But uh, we will be back on Thursday. We have a huge, huge draw coming up for a really expensive uh, a 
Atom Stack, yeah, laser engraver and cutter. And we have some more cool stuff coming in, of course, but we got to get to that engraver and get that given away. And I'm, I'm just, I don't know who's going to get that, but when they win it, they better be darn excited because that is a nice, that is a nice item. <laughs> and we're going to be shipping that, my expense, to whoever you are. Meantime, guys and gals, man, I got to get out of here, but that, that's award winning. I'm telling you that I got so much respect for these guys. I don't. I wouldn't have a problem sitting down and have a coffee with them over there in Georgia sometime. Just say, hey, you know, <laughs> overnight.